okay now after importing the topography we can see that uh, that topography in yellow in here in our model that's why GeoModeler asked us and told that you know that the y you know that the y and the x and y extents are way bigger than the z as you can see that it looks like uh, very flat in here but that's okay the topography like I was saying it's in yellow in here now we have the project explorer in here we with the different uh, you know folders or sections in here we are going to cover that later on and here we have the uh, 2D uh, section uh, window in which we do everything in 2D like digitizing and everything like that and we have the 3D section in here now we have these tools where we can see from the top view from the bottom view and from the side and stuff like that these are related to 3D view and we have the toolbar in which we can digitize inside the 2D or you know zoom in zoom out or do anything like that and the menus the different menus in here we will use a couple of these and show you uh, what everyone or each one of them does okay let's view the topography now as a shade so you, you go to sections because a topography actually is a horizontal section so let's see that for the moment we have only that uh, section we right click on that and click on shading now we can see that topography there's a small bump in there it's the one that we were talking about this one here that's the topography and what we want to do now is to import some sort of a, a geology uh, a geological map to here and see what are actually the different geological layers where there so to do so we right click on here and go to image manager now we have the plus and the minus the minus to delete and the plus to add a new image let's add a new image now we got this window that is used for georeferencing I think you guys are familiar with what is a georeferencing okay so let's go to Bros and we got this simple you know geological map that we can use okay so what we want to do in here is that we have three points we have the first point this one we need to move it somewhere where we know the coordinates so we know the coordinates for this one are 1000 and 4000 so what is that so 1000 is on the y axis 1000 is on the uh, on the x I mean and 4000 is on the y so that's that's it now let's go to the second one that's about right now let's go to the second one we put it in here and we know on this location so the first one is one we have 1000 by 4000 and the second one we have you know 3000 by 4000 and we move to the last one here which is 3000 by 1000 and we have our geological map in there so that's how we've done the georeferencing and we click on OK click on OK and we've done the georeferencing now we have the geological map in there and we can view it in 3d okay let's hide the topography and let's just view that geological map and you can see that the uh, fault in there actually intersects with that you know sort of a valley in there so yeah so that's good now in the next part we are gonna see how to tell GeoModeler that we have three different formations in here and the stratigraphic pile we need to define a stratigraphic pile based on the legend in here so the oldest one is the green one and the youngest one is the red one 
We'll see that in the next video.